Hi, just a short little video here to go with your transposition, vocal style, and sight reading, just to give you a little bit of heads up. So I have quite a few examples here, I believe 20 that I've posted to Canvas that can be used in two different ways. Those of you needing to do transposition vocal, which is piano style. So if you are a BA voice, a BME voice, or a BM voice, your transposition for the proficiency will be piano style. So exactly what we have been doing in class. So these 20 or so examples that I have put on Canvas here are perfect for you to transpose. Remember that you're always gonna be asked to go up or down a third. So those are where you wanna go. Most of the time it's gonna be no further than three sharps, three flats. So of course, give yourself some more difficult keys for a challenge, but don't uh, ex expect that you're gonna to have to go to some nasty keys such as B or, or um, F sharp. So with these examples, looking at the first one when you pull it up, first thing you wanna do is establish your key. Your sight reading and your transposition, both of those elements could be in major or in minor. So if I'm using this first example for transposition, I need to figure out that original key first. I'm looking at one sharp, going G major or E minor. I look at the end and I see it's E minor. So to practice transposing, I would go up or down a third. I would take it to C minor. I would take it to G minor. So decide where you want to go. Remember, you can set it up with a scale and a chord sequence. You're allowed to do that on your video as well. Your transposition example will be emailed to you on Monday, May 18th, the day of the proficiency. It is due by the end of that day. So is, this is an at sight item. So this is as close as we can do to at sight with uh, the electronic submission that we're doing. So by doing these 20 examples, I'm hoping that you'll get quicker at preparing them and you'll get more confident so that you can get that video in in a timely manner on that Monday, the 18th. So just like we've done in class then, with your chord sequence, take a look at your left hand, identify the chords, make sure that you look at what chord it's starting on, make sure you look at if it's starting in an inversion. As we've worked in class, figure out if you're better reading chord symbols or, or common tones. Work through that left hand, then figure out your starting pitch for your right hand. So all 20 of these examples are great to use for transposition, taking them up or down a third. If when you're working on these, you have one that you just cannot get to, to sound right for you, record yourself playing it in a specific key. Or better yet, contact me, let's have a little mini lesson, whether it's over Zoom or FaceTime, and see if we can come up with some strategies that are gonna work well for you. Those of you that are doing instrumental transposition, whether it's band or strings, please use this uh, PDF here, these 20 examples for sight reading practice. They work just as well for that. For sight reading practice, you're going to do the same strategies as what we did for transposition. You're going to figure out the key, make sure you check if it's major or minor. Establish your scale, establish your chord pattern. Look at your left hand, figure out am I better off reading chord symbols? Am I better off finding the opening chord and reading common tone? Figure out the range of your right hand. Make sure that you check the registers. Again, with both transposition and sight reading, the tempo is not gonna decide a pass or fail. It's having an even, accurate rhythmic counting, accurate accidentals in both hands, and you're gonna have a uh, nice steady tempo and correct registers. Registers is really important, so make sure that you watch that. So these are great sight reading examples, On, uh, just like transposition. If there's one that's bugging you, you need some help, some helpful hints, send me a video of you playing, or better yet, contact me. Let's do a mini lesson and work together. So I hope this file is of use to both of you. Uh, to all of you, not both of you, there's three divisions, but to all of you for sight reading, vocal style for transposition. Remember band and, and uh, string, you have your own file of examples for transposition um, underneath your own category. So please be working. Sight reading and transposition are both examples for proficiency that will come to you on May 18th for the one to submit. In the meantime, here's lots of examples for you to work on. Have fun.